Hey, New Life. Uh, this is John here, and uh, it's, it's great and a blessing that you're spending this time watching this video. We appreciate your investment in New Life and the community here. Uh, Pastor Greg and I are gonna share a little bit about uh, the how we're doing on our budget this year, a little bit even about what God's been doing in New Life in our family here, and uh, you'll, you'll look forward to hearing that. Uh, we'll share a little bit about our budget next year that's being proposed. Uh, the date for the vote of that is November 24th, and we wanna give this to you in plenty of time for you to read and reflect and consider, ask any questions that you might have. And then at the end of this video, you'll get to see uh, two elders that are up for reaffirmation, John Clellan and David Ross. It'd be fun for you to hear their story and what God is doing in their lives. Thanks so much. So I am Greg and this is John and uh, just wanna say welcome. First off, we wanna praise God for all of his blessings. Not only you, but as we're talking about budget, we're, we're finishing out this year. Uh, we had an aggressive budget this year, um, hearing God call us towards some growth and, and, and that growth has come. Our children's ministry is blossoming. The, the uh, numerical growth has happened within this year. Uh, God is doing some sweet things that, that are just healthy and good, that have us excited about the future. And um, so we're excited about that. Even the children's wing uh, entrance was redone. And it's right behind us. That was finished this year. Uh, 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 yeah, things to be praised God for. Yeah, I, I think of this year as a year where God's been doing a lot of great things in the realm of outreach in mm -hmm. new life. Um, I think about a transition as Thornydale closed its doors yep. and a transition of Quail Run. And man, that is just, I, I just can't believe the, the speed of trust mm -hmm. with that with that uh, school. So excited to go and serve there on November 17th. Uh, I think of uh, Emory's mm -hmm. now. We're serving there uh, every other month and really just have formed a strong partnership with them. I think mm -hmm. of um, other local partnerships where we're like every month we're in the community serving. Mm -hmm. I think of uh, India was this year. Correct. Uh, we took our, our first India trip and man, God lit a fire in us for his work there. And we mm -hmm. get to even have um, Pastor V, who's the, the director of the, the mission group there. He'll be with us in a couple weeks. So, mm -hmm. so many amazing things that God is letting us partner with as a church. And it's been so fun to see uh, the church body just energized by, by that. And so I've been super encouraged, just even practically as mm -hmm. we end the year. So we set an aggressive budget last mm -hmm. year. Uh, and we, we needed to. We needed to. So this, this is a 10 year old facility mm -hmm. and we can't treat it like it's a, a new facility anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the blessing and a new facility of kind of being able to keep those maintenance costs pretty low, mm -hmm. but the reality is those are starting to spike up on us. And in order to sort of address some facility needs here, uh, we really had to be pretty aggressive. And so we thank you for how generous you have been. And we just would say, hey, we have about $70,000 a gap uh, that we're that we're running behind mm -hmm. right now. And just invite you to, to be generous as we uh, partner to see what God's doing. Um, so then turning to next year. Yep, can yep, I, yep. Well, I just want to draw that. So first off, hear us well, when we, when we put out a need, um, we believe that generosity is a form of worship. And I'll, I'll share for me personally, I'm participating in this. Um, I, I give and I, I set my heart at being generous, but there is something about hearing about a need knowing of its importance that motivates me to kind of look sacrificially in life and say, okay, Greg, uh, is God calling you to give in this? And that's not a guilt thing in any way, shape or form. In fact, it's an invitation. We believe God's doing great things and, and there is a, a gap that needs to be made up as we finish out the year. I'm participating in that and I would ask you just to listen to the Holy Spirit as you might participate in that. Yeah. All right, now look, 2020, the budget is um, going to be available this weekend. Yeah. Uh, walk through some of the details of that. Yeah, so let me even just another point of praise is that this has been a year of growth, uh, numeric growth for, mm -hmm. for New Life, uh, for, from children to adult. And we're just celebrating what, yeah. what God is doing here. And um, that's been so exciting to see uh, God do his work of forming his community here. So as we look out to, to 2020, mm -hmm. uh, the elders are putting uh, together a, a pretty modest and conservative proposal. It's about a 3% increase year over year. Um, and the bulk of that increase uh, really comes back to that fa the facility needs. Uh, there still are a number of facility issues that we really kind of overdue, frankly, mm -hmm. to take care of. And so um, everything from kind of redoing 
uh, you know, aging worship center kind of stuff, flooring and, and paint and that kind of thing to signage and those sorts of things. And so um, even, uh, by the way, backing up into this year, kind of one cool thing that we're gonna be able to do uh, is we're gonna actually, uh, and it's in this year's budget, not next year's, but uh, we're gonna replace all of the lighting in the entire facility with LED uh, fixtures. Mm -hmm. Big, actually big cost, about $15,000. Over the long run, it actually saves us money. Right. So we appreciate your investment in God's work here, even in, to make those short-term investments actually long-term benefit for the health of the and, church. And sometimes, you know, there's nothing about lighting or paint that yeah. is uh, that exciting. It's more exciting to talk of India and Emerys. Both are valid things. God has called us to be good stewards of our facility um, because it was new uh, eight years ago, nine years ago now, um, we didn't have to do upkeep as well. And so, so we're trying to focus as good stewards uh, here at this property and at the same time uh, are, are thrilled with what's God doing in outreach, Emory's India, all the way around the board. And uh, very exciting. Yeah, the, it's a tool, mm -hmm. right? The, this building isn't the church. You're, yeah. These people are the church. And yet we want to steward that tool well. It's mm -hmm. a gift that God has given us for his ministry and for the advancement of his kingdom. So excited for all the ways that God's doing that. Uh, detailed uh, budgets will be available in the mm -hmm. lobby. So grab one of those. If you have any questions, any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out uh, to either one of us. Uh, John B at newlifetucson.com. Uh, Greg L yep. at newlifetucson.com. Uh, any elder, we'd, we'd love to walk that through with you. Um, and uh, we invite you to partner in what God's doing here at New Life. It is exciting to see uh, how he is building his community to transform uh, this neighborhood and the world. To emphasize getting a hold of us, so last year um, we shifted to this video format to try and get information out, and we wanted to hold at least one meeting that was face-to-face -to, -face to give the opportunity for people to come and ask questions. And we did that, and all the elders were there, and I'm not exaggerating, no one showed up. It was only the elders sitting alone in a room. And so we did not schedule a meeting this year, but please hear us. The reason the budgets are available uh, this weekend, it's about a month before the vote. Yep. Um, the vote's on the 24th. Because we wanna be transparent and, and we want to enter into dialogue. So if you have any questions at all, John already mentioned that, please ask an elder, ask, ask us. We would love to enter into the dialogue of the budget. We would view that as someone who's really concerned about the church and, and uh, we're a family, we ought to be concerned to pay attention to that. So please uh, enter into that with us uh, as we seek God together. Yeah, thanks. God bless. Hey, I'm Greg and I'm here with John Clullen, one of our current elders who is up for reaffirmation. And uh, so, so introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about your family. Well, uh, I'm actually one of the few Tucson natives. I was actually born here uh, a while ago, but I've got a beautiful wife, Melinda, and uh, two great kids, they're adult kids, and I got three young uh, uh, grandboys. That they're the joy of our lives. And are you their favorite toy? <laughs> yeah, it depends on when Papa feels that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so tell me uh, things that draw you into the presence of God, is there uh, Bible passages or songs or, or nature? Like what draws you into the presence of God? Um, that's to me is just worship. Worship is such a great thing. It's uh, corporate worship is, it's a beautiful thing mm -hmm. to my heart. And that's yep. why it's like, I try to be a part of it, but it just, it's such a, a calming, uh, peaceful feeling is like, if you let the word speak to you, and you, you actually allow yourself to be drawn into, mm -hmm. it's just uh, it's an amazing thing. Any, do you get jazzed about any construction world work? What excites you most at work? Um, the construction for me is, is the visualization of taking something from nothing mm -hmm. and then being able to walk away uh, and seeing a completed project and then allowing people to have their dream homes. Yeah. Um, and just being able to be friends and uh, just, just partner with them along the way. Yep. Favorite hobbies in life? Uh, three grand, three, three, three grandsons. Three grandkids yeah. are pretty cool. Uh, my, my old truck that I've been working on mm -hmm. for last decades, few decades. <laughs> A 1954 Ford F100. Yep, sounds good. Yeah. 
So at New Life, you've been an elder for the last three years. Uh, you've been here much longer than that. What are you most excited about that you see God doing as you look to our future? I'm excited about the multiplication. Mm -hmm. uh, multiplication within the children's ministry, within the student ministry, with the young adult ministry that, I, that we're trying to get going, the adult connection classes, just to draw people in as a family, mm -hmm. and then be able to cultivate and transform the community. That's been our, it's our goal and our statement. And yep. I, I'm, I'm see, we're seeing that happen, and it's exciting. Yep, praise God. Good, good, good. So John Clullen, uh, please call him, get together to, to, to learn more about him, but um, we're seeking God to reaffirm him uh, as an elder at New Life. All right, well, my name is John Beeson and I'm here with David Ross. David is currently serving as an elder. Yes, I am. And you've been at New Life for how long? Since 2002. Yeah, so you've been at New Life for a long time and uh, currently serving as an elder and you're up for reaffirmation Correct. as an elder here. Yes. So I'd love to hear, uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself, about uh, your wife, kids, grandkids, etc. Thank you. Uh, most of you know me through my wife, uh, uh, Terry Ross. And um, every Sunday we bring our two youngest grandsons here. Mm. And uh, she helps out in uh, children's ministry. We uh, have around seven, I say around seven. We have seven <laughs> grandchildren. And uh, I'm a Tucsonan na native and um, yeah, so native Tucsonan. Yes. You you grew up in the school system. Where did you Where did you graduate from? Uh, Seminole High School. Yeah, yeah. Uh, University of Arizona. Yeah. And, and where did you Where were you a principal? You were a principal for many years. Yes, I was. Yeah. Uh, um, I was a principal of Pister Middle School, which is on the southwest side of town, and also Aliceville Middle School, which is close to uh, Park Place. Yeah. So you and Terry, if you get your your uh, you get away from the grandkids. What's what's the what's the most fun you can have being together? Well, actually, when we have a choice to get away, yep, we really like to invite uh, the grandchildren. <laughs> yep. In fact, we just went to Sedona and uh, and uh, and brought three of our grandchildren with us, and uh, and that was a really good time. Yeah, uh, we try to uh, go out once a week uh, and have a time of of just catching up with each other and making sure that we're on the same page. Yeah. yeah. And Disneyland holds a special place in your heart, right? You know, um, I could go there any day, <laughs> any week, any month. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. David keeps trying to get our elders to go to Disney yeah. with him. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'd love to hear, what are, what are those places that you really feel like you connect with God, like God draws you deeper in, in, into his presence? It's a good question. Um, I would like to uh, phrase it in terms of uh, how do I know that God is speaking to me? When when am I aware that uh, uh, His presence is uh, authentic? Mm -hmm. And I believe I hear uh, God speaking to me most, uh, of course, through His Word. I make a conscious effort to be uh, a serious Bible student, to be uh, found approved, uh, a workman who's not ashamed of his word. Uh, so I hear God through his word, obviously, but I also feel that I, I, I experience God through his creation. Uh, the beauty of his creation is uh, making a point to not just walk through what he has provided in creation and take it for granted. So when I see something beautiful uh, to make a conscious effort to praise God for uh, His creation. Yeah, praise God. I'd love to hear what are you, what gets you most excited about what God is doing here at New Life. What are you most hopeful for? As an elder, I look forward to uh, hearing ministry updates. We have an awesome staff here. Our directors and our uh, our volunteers, our, our lay workers, they, God has provided for us uh, gifts of people mm -hmm. that are uh, truly impressive. And, and the, the more you get to know the person, the more you get to see God's handiwork. So I enjoy hearing the updates of our, uh, of our ministry and actually overwhelmed um, by God's goodness 
and what he's doing in local outreach and also uh, world outreach is phenomenal. What he's doing in Mexico and also uh, in India, but also what he's doing through foster care and adoptive care. Mm -hmm. It's humbling uh, to even think that I could be part of uh, of that and uh, so I truly enjoy that aspect of uh, being an elder. That's awesome. Well thank you. It's It's been a blessing to serve alongside you. Uh, I appreciate your many gifts and yeah. especially your gift of encouragement. You are our chief encouragement officer here at New Life and we're grateful for that. Uh, I would just like to uh, repeat back to you, uh, uh, you and, and Greg and Zach and the entire staff. Mm -hmm. uh, you bless me beyond measure. God blesses me through you and uh, it's a pleasure to serve with you. Thanks, David. So look forward to um, just this time of reaffirming uh, two of our elders here at New Life. If there's any questions you have, uh, feel free to reach out uh, and ask those questions.